These are the GQ M20 computer speakers. These are affordable speakers that you can connect via USB or wirelessly using Bluetooth. It has RGB lighting, which could be an awesome addition to the look of your desktop setup. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how they perform, tell you what I like and don't like about them, and see if they're the right speakers for you. Let's get into it. If you look at my desk, one of the things that stand out beside this huge monitor here are these speakers. These are the Amazon Basics bookshelf speakers. These are beautiful speakers with a great sound, but they take a lot of space. My name is Patrick and this is Everyday Tech. Everyday Tech for Everyday People. And today we're looking at these computer speakers by Jiku. And Jiku did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to review these speakers. Although they did send this to me for free, they're not reviewing this video before it goes up. All my opinions are my own. But first, let me say, I'm not gonna be doing a direct comparison between these uh, bookshelf speakers from Amazon Basics and these computer speakers from Jiku. They're just in a totally different category. These Amazon Basics speakers give a total output of 80 watts. These computer speakers here give a total output of 10 watts. It just wanna be a fair comparison. First, let's talk about the design of these speakers. You can use them in two ways. First, as a stereo pair with a left and right channel. Now you are restricted on how far apart you can put these speakers because there's a wire that kind of restricts you. Now for most people, this is not an issue, but for my kind of wide setup here, I wish the wire was longer to spread them apart a little bit more. Then you can put them together as a sound bar, in a sound bar form factor. Now these kind of remind me of what Dell used to sell as these computer monitor speakers. In fact, Jiku does market these as speakers for your PC desktop monitor. Then you have the knob up here on the top or on the side, depending on which mode or form factor you use this in. Of course, you can change the volume by twisting or turning the knob here. You, if you press it once, you do change the color of the RGB. Now, speaking of the RGB colors, nothing too fancy. It does gradually change between the different colors. It doesn't go with the beat of the music or sound because there's no built-in microphone or there's no software integration. Now, if you press this twice, you toggle between Bluetooth and USB mode. In Bluetooth mode, it does show up right away. It did show up right away on my phone. So it was really easy to pair. Now, one thing is there is no internal battery here. So to power these speakers, whether in USB or Bluetooth mode, you need to rely on the USB power. So my Mac mini here had enough power to enough juice to power these speakers. But if you want to use this as a portable Bluetooth speaker, you need to bring a USB power bank with you. Let's come to the most important part about having speakers is how do they sound? Well, when it comes to these speakers, these are just very ordinary PC speakers. The sound that comes out of the box is very flat and is lacking in bass. I did bring in some music into Apple Music, and I increased the bass in the equalizer, but that only helped just very slightly, even if at all. But if you're getting these speakers or looking for the speakers for mainly music, I would look somewhere else. But if you're looking for speakers for your everyday computing needs or for spoken content like podcasts, these speakers work just fine. At this price point, I really can't complain though. So let me tell you what I like and don't like about these speakers. First, what I like, I do like the form factor, how you can use them in two different ways with a separate left and right channel, or you can use them as a sound bar in that configuration as well. And they are PC speakers, and they do have a decent sound for the price point. But I think the strong point of these speakers and what I like about the most is this RGB lighting. These are PC speakers that do its job, but at the same time, it does add a little bit of a addition to your setup aesthetically. Uh, they, they do make it pop out a little bit more. But unfortunately, there's a number of things that do that I don't like that or that annoy me about these speakers. Now, I'll, although they are ordinary PC speakers, I wish they did have a little bit more bass. And then for my setup, I do wish you can spread these apart a little bit wider. But the, one of the things that do annoy me about these speakers is the fact that when you do turn these on, when you do plug them in, or when your computer restarts, it does make this audible 
kind of alert saying USB mode. And I'll kind of demonstrate it here. And lastly, the thing that is a deal killer for me, especially for my setup, and I realize this might be more of a Mac OS thing, but the only way for me to control the volume of these speakers and even muting these speakers is through this knob here. I can't do it via software in Mac OS at least. And especially for my setup here, I like to put my speakers further back. So if I had to change the volume or even mute, I'd have to reach behind my monitor and change the volume. But even if I use this as a sound bar feature and it's really close up to me, I'd rather you be able to control the volume via software because I can do it right away. My hands are always on my keyboard or my mouse. Overall, would I recommend these speakers? Well, it depends on your setup and your situation. If you're looking for something simple, you mainly have spoken content and you need something for everyday competing needs, these might be a good option, especially with the RGB lighting. It could really make your setup pop a little bit more. But for me, uh, I wish the cord was a little bit longer so I can position them better. I wish it did have a fuller sound. And the lack of software control was the main deal killer for me. So my search for something high quality, something more compact than what I have now at an affordable price continues. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.